Hi guys, it's Twitter Maxwell here and welcome to my new YouTube series at Red Bull Leipzig in the Bundesliga 3. Decided that after many seasons at Sheffield United, I thought I'd try something different. Go for a wee journeyman kind of save and hopefully take Red Bull Leipzig up the league table and into the Bundesliga for the first time in their history. As you can see quickly, they're a new club formed in 2009 and they've actually just come up from the regional divisions, so this is even their first time at this level under this brand anyway, as they were previously known as something else, so that's why they've got a, a stadium for a while, the Red Bull Arena. Uh, they're predicted to finish 7th, so if we can try and push from 7th up to the top, I know we've not had a good start to the season, we'll get into that. I mean, I feel confident, there's enough, enough decent quality players here that we could make something happen. Yeah, we've been left with a good balance, 6.5 million, just unfortunately none of that went to wages or um, a transfer budget, but hopefully that can change as the season goes on players we did bring in, we brought in the likes of Salvatore Forte, who was formerly of Lecce, decent record there, so I was quite happy to bring him in, hopefully he can bring in some goals. We also brought in Holmbert Fridjudson from Celtic and loan, he signed a pre-contract from Fram from them, and hopefully he'll be a decent player for us, the Icelandic youngster. And also Matt Derbyshire of Nottingham Forest, hopefully he can kick on and become somebody decent as well, should be able to score for fun at this level, I'd like to think. Uh, the team overall looks pretty decent, uh, just to identify a few key players, which would be George Teagle, who was uh, previously of the Red Bull Salzburg, he's now here. I think they must have got him a freebie surely, yep, so that's, well, I can only assume he'll be a very good player for them. Uh, the other one, Daniel Fran, seems to be a good target man, so with his goal scoring records everywhere, hopefully we can get a good player out of him. Another one that caught my eye was the defensive midfielder, Dominic Kaiser. If he's anywhere near as good as Frank Beckenbauer, we'll be quite happy, but Dominic could be a good player. Good potential. I mean, the stats a couple of seasons could be up to maybe 12s and 13s everywhere, so that's a pretty decent standard. So hopefully he'll do something. Yeah, the tactics we're employing is going to be a 4-4-2 diamond, the same as my Sheffield United. They've changed the team directions a little bit. Team instruction, sorry, the direct passing remains, try to make them disciplined, play it slow, hassle the opponents, get stuck into them, play it wide and run at the defences. Uh, the results though have been pretty dodgy so far. Two wins and friendlies, which is against the reserves and unions in Florian. We drew against Reading and Uto Galati, and we also lost to Victoria 1889. We then took on Halley in the opening day of the season and unfortunately lost 4-1. Simbolo scored a penalty before Volman turned our defence inside out and made it 2-0. Akai Gioga made it 3-0 before Simbolo made it look like if I really made the right decision with this save for 4-0. Uh, and then Teagle, for a nice wee drive, made it 4-1. It's disappointing, you've got the more shots in goal, you just don't hit them in target and you get punished for it. So that was a bad opening day. First home game, not much better all of them again. They scored a penalty from Mark Hyder, and thankfully our own, line, our own loan player, Holmbert, Frodson, with the equaliser to make it 1-1. So one point for two games, it's not great, although it is a 38 game season, so hopefully we can claw our way back up to the top of the table. It all starts off next against SF, FSV Frankfurt, whose best player is Marc-Andre Krushka, formerly of Borussia Dortmund. So it'll be interesting to see how it pans out, I mean I wouldn't write us off after two games, I still think there's a proper chance we can do something. We just need to start picking up wins and hopefully we'll kick on from there. But um, that's pretty much it guys. If you liked the video please hit that like button. If you're not already hit that subscribe button and let's hope we can get a nice wee career save on YouTube with Red Bull Leipzig. Until next time guys, this was Tweet1Maxwell and I'll speak to you later on. Bye bye.